Here's my somewhat ridiculous method that I use to tape down paper that I oil paint on. So what I do is I take the cardboard from the back of my pack of paper and then I tape the sides of it with this twisty tape. Um, so this works like this. Put this down here, flatten it like that, and then we're just going to make a giant noodle of this tape and roll it over. Some areas will be stupid. And yes, I'm aware there's double-sided tape, but we don't have time or money for double-sided tape. So now we've got, you know, this big long noodle on the back, and I'll do the other two sides here. Then I just lay my paper down on top of it. And I use clear, clear medium. This is pretty nice. Um, golden self-leveling gel, but you can use whatever medium you want. I prefer to have it a bit watered down just to avoid streakiness. And then you just gesso away. And this way, you've always got a surface to paint on. One of the best bits of advice I ever got, I know it's very simple, but it was always have a lot of surfaces to paint on. You should never be out of surfaces to paint on. You can pick up, this is 300, 300 pound, uh, kind of like Bristol board almost, but I bought a pack of 20 of these for like 12 bucks. And uh, yeah, they're pretty good. You can paint with oils on them. Make sure you get all the areas covered because when you paint on top of this, if it's not fully covered, it will seep into the paper and that area that isn't covered will be like matte or it'll even change color. Not to mention the oils will eventually damage your paper. So that's how I how I uh, have my method of just gessoing paper, taping it down. And this will work fine. Like, and it's got a hard back, which is nice. I like, I like painting on a hard back, personally. And then I even put them into, when I'm done with them, I got some of these portfolio pages. And you can look in here, and then you can just put them in these giant portfolio pages, basically, and do your paintings like that. But yeah, they're thick. I've got mounds of these things, you know? They're thick, and uh, they work really well. Really cheap way to make oil paintings on paper.